بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good afternoon my dear students of grade 11 at the Manahij schools and welcome back to your English lessons Our lesson for today is writing and this is on page 64 of your students book Traveler 4 Let's get started Uh, today's lesson, as I told you, is a writing lesson. We are going to learn how to write a book review. How to write a book review. So, actually, I'd like you to, to know what is a book review or what is a review in general before we start. So, if I set a question, what is a review? To write a review. What's a review? Of course, it's not revision. No, it's something different, something like criticism. So a review is a critical evaluation of something, of a text, an event, an object, or a phenomena, or phenomenon. A review is a critical evaluation. هو تقييم نقدي. Yes. Of a text, a taqim hada shabab, maybe of a text or an uh, event or object or phenomenon. Ya imma taqim li nas, aw hadath, aw shi, aw zahira. But our, our lesson for today is a book review, and uh, we are going to learn how to write a book review. Kif naktub taqim li kitab. A book review. A book review is a form of literary criticism in which a book is merely described or analyzed based on content and style. This is the definition of a book review. A book, a book review is a form of literary criticism in which a book is described or merely described. تصف فيه الكتاب هذا or analyzed أو بتعمل عملية تحليل للكتاب based on content and style التحليل أو النقد اللي بنعمله للكتاب بيكون قائم على content and style content اللي هو المحتوى وأسلوب عرض الكتاب <coughs> There are four steps to write a book review if you are going, of course, you write a book review or you are asked to write a book review after you finish reading the book. You cannot write a book review before reading. Yes. So there are four steps of a book review to write a book review. The first step is begin with a brief summary of the book. Begin with a brief summary of the book. الكتاب. Of course, you have to write the uh, the name of the author, the topic of the book. Pick out the most important aspects of the book. After you start with a brief summary of the book, you pick out tantaki to select to choose the most important aspects. The third step is include brief quotes as examples. Of course, you are going to quote quote something from the book. اللي هو تقتبس بعض الأشياء من الكتاب و, uh, to include them in your review number four write a conclusion that summarizes everything write a conclusion so if you look at the four steps you can conclude that we need to write about at least four paragraphs in a book review the first paragraph of course will be an introduction or an introductory paragraph and the two body paragraphs in which you are going to pick out the most important aspects of the book and include the brief quotes as examples and the fourth paragraph will be the conclusion then the as usual the conclusion summarizes everything you have talked about so <clears throat> let's move now to your students uh, book page 64 so please open your book on page 64. Traveler. This is Traveler 4, module 4. And our lesson for today is writing. Yes. Writing a book review. 
We have two questions for discussion before we get started. The first question is, how do you choose box to read or give as gifts? If you are going to choose box, of course, you can think about what kind of topics, what kind of box you would like to read so that you choose your box correctly. The second question, do you ever read box or book reviews in newspapers or magazines? This question needs an answer of yes or no. If you like to read book reviews in magazines, you will mention the reasons for this. Or if you say not, you may mention also your own reasons. Read the review of the novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This, is this a book you would be interested in reading? Why or why not? This is a picture of the book 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And this is a review of the book you are asked to read the review and answer some questions. As you can see, the review consists of one, two, three, four paragraphs. As I told you earlier, the first paragraph is usually the introduction in which you are going to write the name of the author, the, the name of the book, uh, in the second paragraph and the third paragraph, you are going to quote and to mention the main topics of the book. And the last paragraph will be the conclusion. So I will give you some time to read before we proceed or we move on to answering some questions. So please try to read it on your own and we will continue after a while. After you have already read the, the, the book review, read the review again and answer the questions below. I hope everybody has already read the review so that you can answer these questions. In which paragraph does the writer? As I told you, the book review is made up of four paragraphs, the introduction, body paragraph one and body paragraph two and the conclusion. You are going to mention here in these boxes the number of each paragraph which includes the idea or the information here. In which paragraph does the writer tell us where the story takes place? Where the story takes place? In which paragraph? Exactly, it's on topic two or uh, paragraph two. If you go back to paragraph two, this is paragraph two, the story takes place or happened or happens in 1866 and so on. So he meant he, uh, when a mysterious sea creature appears causing trouble in Europe and America and so on until the end of the paragraph. So the answer to the first item here is paragraph two. B. Give an overall impression of the book. Give an overall impression. And if you think uh, for a while, you can answer it without going back to the, t the text. If you want to give an impression of the novel, where would you write that impression? In the introduction or in paragraph one or body paragraph two or in the conclusion? Exactly, in paragraph four, which is the conclusion, you need to write your impression. If you liked the book in general or you didn't like it. The third question. In which paragraph does the writer tell us who the author of the novel is? Who the author? Author Yanil Muallif. Exactly. You need to mention the name of the author in the very first paragraph, which is the introduction. That's paragraph one. In which paragraph does the writer refer to a certain character's flaws? In which paragraph does the writer refers to? Refer to means you know, a certain character's flaws. Flaws means defects. That's in paragraph three. In which paragraph does the writer refer to important themes in the book? Important themes in the book. He refers to that in paragraph 4, the last one. 
In which paragraph does the writer comment on what makes the novel so popular? What makes the novel? When the writer بيعلق على ما يجعل هذه الرواية so popular. Yes, in paragraph four also in the conclusion. So, my dear students, these are the answers to the first exercise. The next exercise, you're asked to read the review again and find words and phrases. هتطلع كلمات أو عبارات which mean the following. Yes, in this uh, part, you are going to learn some important K or new vocabularies. A word or a phrase which means not affected by the passing of time. معناها إنه الشيء ده لا يتأثر بمرور الوقت. Can you find it? I guess you found it. It's timeless. Timeless means not affected by the passing of time. The second one. A search for something. A search for something. بحث عن شيء. This is in paragraph two, by the way. Yes. Quest. Quest or search. If you refer to paragraph two, you find you will find it easily. The third one. Over a ship's side and into the water. Over a ship's side. If somebody falls over a ship or fall down from the ship into the water. This is overboard. He fell overboard. Yes. سَقَطَ مِنْ فَوْقُ السَّفِينَ The fourth one. The human race. The human race. Race here doesn't mean مصابقة أو سباق. No, of course. The human race معناها الجنس البشري. النوع البشري. الأدميين. Yes. The human race means mankind. Mankind. Human race. Have the same meaning. The fifth one. A desire for something. A desire. And a desire means رغبة. رغبة لشيء ما. ترغب في الشيء هذا. A desire for something. This is thirst. Thirst. التعطش للشيء أو الظمأ. Of course, you know thirsty. If you are thirsty, you need to drink water or you want to drink water. That's a thirst. The remains of a destroyed ship. Remains means بقايا. بقايا السفينة المحطمة The remains of a destroyed ship بقايا السفينة المحطمة I think I guess more or many of you really know the meaning which is shipwreck shipwreck means the remains of a destroyed ship اللي هو حطام السفينة أو بقايا سفينة محطمة We will stop by this uh, exercise and until I meet you again online keep safe and enjoy your time Thank you very much and goodbye